Welcome back to Lego by the Book. Today I am plotting for today I get to build set 3739, the blacksmith shop from the 2002 My Own Creations line, which I, if I from what I understand, was very short-lived as it was right in the, the peak of the Dark Age of Lego where they nearly had to uh, sell out. Um, this, I believe, the My Own Creations line was then reborn in the Ideas line. And so it's very fitting that in the My Own Creation line, the very first set was a blue roof, blue roofed blacksmith shop, and one of the most recent um, uh, Ideas lines was a blue roofed blacksmith shop. So I am going to build this, and then I'm going to compare it to the newer one um, because they're both really, really cool sets, and I am, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am to actually own this set. This, yeah, this came to me from Daniel Dillman, who is amazing, and I have no idea where he gets his stuff, um, but somehow he is able to come up with just the most amazing stuff. Are there, ac actually has the mini? Blacksmith in a, an interesting torso. I actually picked up another one of this torso. It was not very common, um, but I've got a, a couple of them now. And then a really cool medieval female outfit uh, with a very nice dress with the keys, which was in fact a thing, and a really nice looking fancy head for that time. So very, very cool minis. All right, here, here we go. And there, and there it is, the medieval blacksmith shop, and it opens up. This is how they like doing things um, for a while. All, all, there's several buildings in my castle that were originally like this from the uh, from this era, and then from the uh, the medieval village set. Also, they open up this way, which doesn't work well with my setup. So of course I redesigned them to come off on the to come off by layers. And it's, it's wonderfully detailed. It's got a lot of really cool interior detail. It has a, over here we have the anvil and a bugle for some reason. There's a spider on the wall, a rack of tools and weapons that have been made. We obviously have the forge down here. And then on the upstairs we have a table with a frying pan and flowers and a goblet. We have a, uh, a barrel uh, pouring into a goblet. We have a bed. We then do have an attic with a uh, chest of gold and bats. There's also a fireplace upstairs as well as the forge downstairs. It's it's just a wonderfully designed set, and it was very much in that that classic castle style that um, that that I was always a fan of. And like I said, this became the the, the blueprint for my medieval castle, or my medieval village, in fact. So here is the armory from my castle, the, or the armorer, rather, the, the guy who makes armor. I have all sorts of details and suits of armor and weapons and stuff in there. Uh, but as you can see, it is very, very closely modeled 
after this one, but it is reversed, so I kind of uh, just made a mirror image. Uh, I had to make some other slight modifications because I didn't have all of these parts, especially the long slopes here, the 2 by 4 long slopes, and so I, I, I did the that section of it a little bit different, but we do still have you know, the that section of wall. I did it in red roof and red walls instead of blue roof with uh, white walls because I already had a number of blue and white buildings uh, in my medieval village, so I decided to go with a different color. Uh, but it is very much modeled after it as far as where the doors are, the way the fireplace is shaped, all of that is very, very similar. This one is, of course, designed so it comes off, uh, each floor comes off rather than uh, it's swinging open so that I can access it when it's in the village. Oh, let me get this off. There we go. I uh, don't have any upstairs detail on this one. That is something that I do need to get around to doing. Uh, but yeah, this was, as you can see, very distinctly the scale that I went with for my medieval village. Now, let's take a look at the 2021 medieval blacksmith shop. Now, if this is not the most magnificent and, I guess I would say, obvious... Uh, display of how far Lego has come in the last 20 years. Uh, I really don't know how more <laughs> how more obvious you can make this. Uh, they actually do reference this set in the instructions for this set as well as some of the other blacksmith shops. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the difference in detail between this and this and the difference in scale, obviously you can see that this is much larger and that's why I'm having issues figuring out how to integrate it into my castle. Uh, this one will, I will be keeping as is on display just because of how gorgeous it is. And then I did buy a second one that I will be downsizing in order to be able to fit it into my village uh, because it is such a wonderful set and I want to have something in it. Um, so I'll probably be bringing it in this way and bringing it down and, and I will find a way to make it fit into my village somehow. Um, but yeah, the, the, the very basics are still there. The, the ground floor is stone, and then a... Uh, they went with mostly white and, and then some tan for that second floor, and then obviously a red roof. And that is all still there. Or rather, a blue roof. Um, blah. Right. If this is not the most uh, <laughs> succinct display of the difference, uh, how far LEGO has come. Right, here it is. This is the 2021 Ideas Medieval Blacksmith Shop, and if these two next to each other is not the most wonderful visual representation of how far LEGO has come in the last two decades, uh, I really can't imagine what else would be. Uh, they actually do reference this set in the instructions for this set. It's, it's, it's in there in the history of um, how how, how all this came together. Uh, and they are, as I said, very, very similar on a very base level. Um, obviously, you've got, you know, the, the, the ground floor is stone, and then the, the white and um, uh, timber second floor, and then blue roof. Um, that is That is essentially what you have here. It's just they've taken it to a much more detailed and awesome level. And that's really, really, really cool. Obviously, you can see the difference in size and how I'm having trouble fitting this one into my village because it's so much bigger and because it's so much more detailed. The ones I have are a little bit more detailed than this, but not much. Uh, and so to, to, to make this fit visually and uh, aesthetically in my, my castle, I'm, I'm having to try to make some changes. And so I, I, I bought the one and I want to keep it because I just love how good it looks and I want to keep it on display. And then I bought a second one um, while out and about on my adventures. Um, to modify and to try to bring it down in size and in scale and in p potentially in detail uh, to be able to, to fit it into my setup and then I will slowly start increasing the detail on my setup to kind of meet it in the middle because I don't want to take it down to this level. I'd rather bring this up about half and bring this down by half and meet in the middle and it should be pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one because I, I don't have any more room in my village and I, I, may, uh, I may go ahead and keep this one. Um, stock and on display next to the original one of these just so I can have the two next to each other because that's a 
just a really cool, once again, display of how, how far things have come. Similar to my um, Star Wars display, where I have the, the earliest fighters in the, in the series, and then I have the newer ones, and you can see how much it has changed and how much it has improved, uh, and I really, really like that. So this, this was a fun build. Getting to finally build this properly with all of the parts, because I, you've seen, I've tried to build it before, and I just didn't have all the pieces, and then now actually getting to truly build it and see all the interior detail. That was something I hadn't done with mine and seeing how they did it all and, and, and having the minis because I, I, I think I had this torso, but I don't think I had that head. Uh, and I also do have to have this torso. I, I've actually picked up another one on my, my adventures, surprisingly. Um, we went to a place we'd never been to before and they had some stuff that was pretty cool, so... Okay, I have definitely rambled enough. Uh, I cannot thank you enough, uh, Daniel, for, for this set, because, I mean, it, it's just, it was a set that I wanted, and it was a time when I, I wasn't getting Lego. It was my, my sophomore year in college, I think, uh, and so I never ended up getting it, and then it was very short-lived, because the, uh, the My Own Creation line died out, unfortunately, very quickly, and uh, as far as I know, I haven't actually done all the research into it, and I probably should. I probably it's probably fascinating, but having this in my collection is is very very special. It wasn't one I ever thought I would get because I looked it up what it cost on Bricklink and it was ridiculous, and so um, getting it was a wonderful birthday present. So thank you very very much, and thank you guys for watching.